All right, how's it going, everybody? I was asked earlier today about pumping lava. I won't say from which dimension. Uh, we're just going to say lava. And I realized I had never made a video about how I pump lava. So, and I don't actually have a tutorial for the pump itself. So, let's consider this how to pump Minecraft fluids that are non Greg Tech with the Greg Tech 6 pump and a basic tutorial for the pump itself. So, you grab the pump here. You'll see that uh, before I grab this, that there is uh, lava down there, lava over there. This pump has just gotten done pumping out all the lava that was on this level going back underneath there. And it now needs to move. And that is because the pump only pumps whatever level it is sitting on. Um, it does not come with this. I have to pop this off of here. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, this is your input side. It takes RU. This is the the this is the power input side. This is the actual input side. And then these holes that go all the way around on the other four faces are outputs. It will directly pump out whatever fluid it is that you're pumping up with it. As I said, it will only pump blocks of fluid that are, or flowing blocks of fluid, that are on its level or above it. So... If you want to pump out a big lava lake all the way down to bedrock, you need to first get to bedrock and then make sure that the lava is all connected. That's why I do it one layer at a time and I just move my pump as need be. Now, since the pump takes RU, you will need a power behind it. And I tech, I currently use, well, I always use a diesel engine because getting ethanol is really easy. And so you just set this up directly behind it. And once you feed it fluid, it will run. It will run whether there's anything to pump or not, which is why we pair it up. Uh, let me place this down a second, pop that off with these two covers. Now, what this is is an activity detector possible cover that means if there is something inside of here that is possible to be pumped, then give a redstone signal out, which is why we put it on the back. Now remember, your pump cover, your your covers on GT6 machines are directional from where you place them. So even if I break this and I put it up here, turn this direction, that cover is going to be on this side. So whenever you're moving your pump, if you do it the way I'm doing it, you always need to make sure that it's facing in the same cardinal direction. Now for the motor, we put a redstone machine switch on it, facing where that possible switch is. And that literally says, turn me on and off if I get a redstone signal. So now you'll see that if I grab the ethanol here and place it on there, the pump looks like it is doing nothing. Because it is. It has nothing to pump. But if we were, in fact, to take this and 
break out a couple blocks here. And we'll put our diesel engine right here. We'll put our pump right there. Always making sure to break the block behind it because it has to have an exhaust. And then put our diesel in this case instead of ethanol on there and once it maps where all the lava is you can see it has now started pumping it'll pump until it fills up its internal um storage but then if we uh use a couple pipes here with a nether portal which I have um, already set up in the nether, a long pipe network that takes this back to a, another miniature nether portal and sends it back into the overworld. Um, I will put a card up here in the corner to my video on the miniature nether portals. Uh, if you need help to use them. But then we just connect the pipe to here, pipe to there, and get that off of Monkey Wrench. And you'll see now that the pump has started running again. And somewhere back there, we will see the lava being pulled out. This seems to be a pretty big... Ah, well now I'm just bringing lava in from a whole nother source. So now instead of pumping the lava from where it was, it's actually going to start pumping the lava up here because this lava is higher than the lava that's down there that it's now flowing into. So once it realizes, see right there, unless that was one I accidentally blocked, but once it remaps and realizes that these fluids are up here and need to be pumped, it'll start pumping these as well. But somewhere down there is what it's currently pumping. Um, my guess is the pipe is probably full at the moment because I use a rather small pipe yeah it's full so it's just not pumping much at the moment um but i will pause here for just a minute get rid of this guy and be back in just a second and show you the results okay i wanted to show you guys it just i don't know if you guys caught it right there on the tail end but um, it started pumping that out, and so it had just updated, and now it's back to pumping this layer. You can see we have none of that lava anymore, and if we do this, it's going to have more from there now, because apparently there was stone in between there, and there's even more buried back here, so... Just keep digging around, we'll find more lava, and as we update, it will get an update. It just has to remap all the full fluids it needs to pull out. And so we've gotten all of those, which is going to get a little tricky here in a second. Basically, it's going to start pouring lava on me. All right, but now there is a limit on the pumps. I don't think it actually says in the uh, tooltip the limit, but uh, there is a limit. And the limit does go up depending on which flavor you're using here. Um, you can use any of these, they just overclock, 
um, as you go up, but they go a lot faster. Um, you can pretty much fill an adamantium tank with lava pretty quick with one of these uh, tungsten steel ones. I know um, XAR uses either tungsten steel or titanium on the server, and he can just... It's like using a sponge almost. But... Um, that's how you use the pump. Now, if you wanted to not have to move your pump, the easiest thing to do is dig down to bedrock. Like, I could dig down right here. Right there's bedrock. And then just let that pour down here and put my pump here. The only issue with that is if the lava isn't connected to it it's not going to pump it so once the lava up here pours over that wall is collected there's going to be no lava to collect any that might be underneath this pool so you really need to like break in over here and see is there any lava over there and it's it really makes it difficult that's why i tend to um pump it this way you could though uh go down to bedrock and just mine underneath and start taking out blocks above your head till you find the lowest one and then set up your pump there that's another option um also remember that the uh, nether portal and the pump do not do any chunk loading. So if you're going to be, say, in another dimension or away from this area, you definitely want to get something like server utilities, FTB utilities, uh, railcraft, chicken chunks, anything that you can use to chunk load an area and chunk load the area around where you're uh, pump is and what that pump has mapped out that it's going to be uh, pumping. There you go. You can see now it is pumping out this layer and then it'll go down to the next layer and it is pumped all the way back to where that obsidian is. Now that I've connected those two as long as there is a connection all the way from there back to my pump, it will start on that when it gets to the next layer. Um, but like if I was doing the server utilities thing and this is the farthest extent, I would want to come over here and make sure that area is uh, claimed and chunk loaded. And then just walk back over here. And then make sure that that is within the area. And then just to be safe, do that one as well. And now that has this whole little area. If you're using like chicken chunks, uh, you can set the radius you want on it. And uh, FTB uses basically the same thing as uh, server utilities. It's a port of it. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps. You can use a battery box um, and an engine to power it. Um, the same redstone thing will work with the possible in the redstone switch. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.